This deck has some of the best high rolls in standard. Ancient Imperiosaur, you can play this on turn 3. 7 mana, Convoke, Trample Ward 2, plus 2 plus 2 for each creature that convoked it. This can be a 20-20 on turn 3. So how do we cast it on turn 3? Well, if we have Stalwart on turn 1, then all of our 1 and 2 drops give us at least one creature per mana we spend. So 3 mana on turn 2 is going to give us 3 more creatures. That's 4 creatures total with the Stalwart. Then we'll have 3 lands to cast the Imperiosaur on turn 3. If we use those 3 mana to play 3 more creatures, tapping all our lands, then we can convoke for 7, making a 20-20. If we don't have the Stalwart, we can also get there with the Gleeful Demolition and one of our artifacts. We've got Epicure, Skrelv, and Briefcase. We also have Knight Errant of Eos, 5 mana Convoke. We can easily play this on turn 3. We can also play it on turn 2 if we find Voldaren Epicure and Gleeful Demolition, which will give us four creatures on turn two. Then we can either play Skrelv, Convoke for five, or if we don't have Skrelv, just tap out white mana, Convoke for four. Hopefully that'll find a Jetmir. Jetmir's great in this deck because we'll probably have six creatures, maybe even nine creatures. So we'll get plus two plus zero Trample Vigilance if we have six creatures, and plus three plus zero in Double Strike if we have nine creatures. And finally, we've got Elish Norn, which is really easy to flip in this deck. So hopefully you can ramp out the Elish Norn on turn three, flip it on turn four, make five two twos, give all your creatures double strike the next turn and swing for lethal. All right, let's see how it plays. All right, this hand is great. We've got Epicure into Gleeful Demolition and turn three Imperiosaur. Enough red and green mana. Uh, we got all pain lands, but it's not really going to matter because we're on the play and we're going to win on turn four. Skrelv. Skrelv is basically useless against this deck. That's kind of one of the nice things about it. Can't even block. What a bad card. <laughs> I mean, we're playing for them, <laughs> but we're good in the Skrelv Mirror. Okay, easy five creatures on turn two. If we draw a uh, green creature here, or the briefcase, then uh, our Imperiosaur will be bigger. Uh, can't cast that one this turn. So, looks like it's just going to be a 16-16. I'm pretty sure that's good enough. And turn four jet mirror attack for a lot. This is 33 damage with trample. Easy game. All right, well, that's a really good start. Sand is not as good. But 
we've got to turn through Jetmir, so it was not worth mulliganing. Hopefully they don't counter this. But even if they do, we got a second one. Try to make disappear. Sink bait. That's not gonna work. We got this treasure. Here's syncopate for my treasure. Fair trait. All right, well, um, Jetmir gives our creatures vigilance. So attack first, and then we can convoke out this Imperiosaur. Uh, they might have another counter spell, though. Like a make disappear. So if I play the Eos, then it'll get around and make disappear. And syncopate. All right, the reinforcements is nice. It'll help us play around a sweeper just a little bit. So if they have Doom Scar, that's basically their only chance. We do have some nice life gain, but even if they do have the Doom Scar. Nope, nope, they're dead. Sunset Revelry. That is not gonna be enough. All right. This is another really good hand. Oh man. Uh, it's still really good. I got the Epicure and the Gleeful. So we've still got, even through the removal spell, a turn three giant creature. All right, they're not playing control, so this is going to be another easy win. Only 1414 14 because you got rid of my creature. I hope you're happy. So lay down arms won't answer this because its mana cost is too high and there's nothing else cheap enough to answer it. And you're dead. Nice. Thank you. It is nice. Another turn four win. And we can get the Imperius out to turn three again, but we will have to sacrifice our Squelve to the Gleeful Demolition. Sadly, they have a really good draw. Wow. Triple one drop. I thought only we were allowed to do that.
no plays from them. So they can activate the initiate and blow up our Skrelv. But maybe they won't want to do it because it'll remove counters. And maybe they have something else they want to play. So hopefully they don't do it. If they don't do it, we can play the Imperiosaur. Uh, looks like they're going to do it. All right, good play. Very smart. Skrelv cannot protect itself. This is where it is uh, very unfortunate to be on the draw. If we were on the play here, they could not have had the three mana in time to, to blow us out there. We would have had our 1616 trample on turn three. Nothing they could do about it. They wouldn't even really be able to attack and pump up their guys. So this is just a game that came down to play draw. And they've got five attackers, so we're dead. Okay, this hand is fine. If we draw a cheap creature into land, we can play the Imperiosaur on turn three. There's the cheap creature, so. I think I'll just play this and spend the treasure immediately since the 1-1 uh, the one -one gives as much mana as the treasure anyway. Need a land. All of our lands will be untapped, so. Darn. All right, well, they left up two mana, so I could play Elish Norn, but it would just die to go for the throat. And since I have the scroll, I could, just... I could play that first to play around go for the throat. Okay, they have an edict. That's fine. Still really need a land. Not a land either. Okay, so if I play the Elish Norn, I'd have to tap my Skrelv to, to play it. Um, so I should probably still wait on that. Now I can play the Imperiosaur. Oh, and now my land shows up <laughs> two turns too late. Don't really need it now. All right, so I'm going to leave the scroll up because they do have enough mana to go for the throat, my Imperiosaur. They 
you're doing stuff that doesn't matter at all. Be Ganjo and Bank Buster. Doesn't do anything. And there's the go for the throat that I've been playing around. Would you like to pay the ward? Yes, okay. I will protect my creature. All right, I win. GG's. All right, deck list is below. Try it out, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching, bye.